Hey guys, it's Ami, and this is another Alliance War. In this war, I decided to bring Medusa just to play with her a little bit. And we're starting our usual path, is number 9, but on first section, I'm just trying to decide which path to take, and I decided to go with Linked On, have some energy, and this is probably, probably, probably going to be Hyperion, is always Hyperion on this node. And the links are not so hard, so why bringing Voodoo to this fight, trying to finish it as fast as possible. So if you fight Hyperion, your goal to bait his level 1, because if you will reach his uh, level 2, sometimes you will see him just crossing his hands and doing nothing until level 3, and this is a very tough thing. Another strategy that I'm using here with Voodoo, because the maximum power that I can get is only one power bar, I'm putting an odd combo on him. So odd combo will reduce chances for power gain by 50% and you will see here that it's a lot. So this will help me just to beat Hyperion much easily. And another great thing on this specific node, you see this power lock sign? This is also works with uh, willpower, so if you got hit and you lo lost some health, just reach one power bar and let willpower fi fill your power again, your health again, sorry. So Hyperion today is in his very good mood and he triggering his specials, so the fight is going pretty smooth. He have a lot of health because of Link node and everything, so it takes some time. <laughs> to finish the fight, but I'm almost there, and now we trigger his special, and he almost down, few more hits, and he's down. And next one, I'm seeing a tech champion, so I thought maybe it's Ultron, and I decided to take Medusa to this fight, why not, let's see who is going to be. And to my surprise, it's Yondo. And yeah, though it's pretty annoying. Uh, his arrow can penetrate block and make you bleed for a lot. So I tried to intercept here, it didn't work. But let's see how it works from now. So my goal is shred the armor. Uh, bait special, special one is very very easy to evade. But never forget, it's a three part special. I'm Sometimes I just forget him it. So he throw the arrow, arrow, he punches you and then another time the arrow comes around and <laughs> many times I just forgetting about the second arrow and <laughs> he just hit me with it. And now guys pay attention to this. Her level 2 is devastating. So it's a pretty cool fight. And we are moving on. So I see another node here, another cosmic, and I thought, okay, it's probably another Hyperion, but now it's a 5 star Hyperion. So let's see, and it was Phoenix. so our alliance, uh, so our alliance will also do some diversity, and probably our opponents doing the diversity for the fight, for the war and points. So Phoenix, Phoenix is just very easy champion to fight. You need to keep in mind that when you hit her at the last point of HP, she will start enter to some mode where you cannot attack her, but she can attack you, so be careful. Uh, she can cut you and do a lot of damage with the last second, but if you have a debuff on her like bleed or poison, see, very very easy. We are moving on to second section, and second section... Probably Hyperion again, I'm not taking any risk, we need the point. And soon we're going to have another fight with Medusa and very interesting fight on Spite Note. And Spite Note will have an interesting boss. Who will caught me by surprise? Uh, we also have a boss uh, magic, but it's only rank 3 magic. But let's see how it goes, because sometimes lower rank champions can do a lot of, a lot of bad things to me. Uh, Hyperion again, same strategy, you see I, I can't reach 2 power bars, so I'm putting one uh, odd combo on Hyperion, reduce chances for his power gain. And he almost dead, so it's, it's much easier Hyperion than the previous one. Now I see here a 
skill champion and this is also an armor node I thought it's probably going to be Black Panther Civil War and Medusa's magic against him but this is the worst matchup for Medusa this is Agent Venom and Agent Venom can shrug the armor breaks <laughs> and this is pretty sad <laughs> because I really I really wanted to show Medusa against champions who can uh, hold armors and you see here when I attack him and I when I parry him I'm waiting for a little bit just to see if he shrugs off the parry especially when he have one power bar because sometimes he's level 1 it's not 100% guaranteed bleed but if he will hit you with level 1 and you will bleed it will be huge damage I'm usually trying to push him over two power bars and sometimes I'm dashing in but in Alliance War I prefer to play safe, play, prefer to intercept or parry and wait. He almost down and Medusa doing great uh, thing here just, just crushing him and the fight is over. We finished with all the nice fights and now we're moving on to spite mode and here I see a mystic champion and I'm thinking to myself could it be magic, could it be Dumamo on this node? But anyway I have Iceman so this is my option to this node and here I see the lovely tank Juggernaut and this is not a regular juggernaut, this is juggernaut with spike note and also mystic dispersion and let's see how the fight goes so he was nice and he triggered his specials I'm when I parry him I'm just doing some hits some intercepts it's very dangerous to get hit but by his level 3 and he reaches level 3 and now I'm the cor at the corner so I know that I need to block and bait heavies and dash back and here I try to dash back again blocked got 6000 heavy attack I triggered my special just to reinform the ice armor again and we're back on the rotation and here guys this is, was a BS after medium attack he managed to parry me and this is there is a huge uh, forum post going on about this issue that AI recovering super fast and this was another example that after medium attack AI just managed to recover and here again after special he just recovered so fast I just had no chance to, to attack him and, <laughs> and I lost for the first time on this node for a long time thank you BS thank you very much I, I decided to bring Voodoo, try to finish this fight as quick as possible before a bleed will kill me. So also the spy node is working here and I put an odd combo on him just to reduce chances for uh, unstoppable. And you will see here, no, unstoppable 50% didn't work but great thing about an odd combo also, your debuffs last 50% longer so you see again after medium he managed to parry but oh, because of my odd combo I managed to survive it but come on Kabam come on this is a BS I never manage after my medium to parry opponent they're just hitting me and here it's just crazy crazy how juggernaut managed to parry so I lost 50% of my health and the fight is done uh, a lot of BS, a lot of BS, but you know, one day Kabam maybe will fix something, but probably not. And we are moving on to last fight in this alliance war, and this is going to be magic debuff immune, and this magic is rank 3 magic. So it shouldn't be a very tough magic. Uh, let's see what mystic dispersion level of this magic. Uh, she also a very high signature abilities probably a lot of limbos at the beginning until I put an out combo on her and what I'm usually trying to do when I'm fighting uh, mystic champions first of all just to taste the mystic dispersion how much mystic dispersion do they have 
first uh, first power bar is a limbo this is something I already used to my regeneration is helping me against it now she has one power bar I will try to bait specials here the fight is going pretty good oh, very very intense and doing maximum damage that I can she is the corner and corner it's a great place for her much easier to fight against her when she is the corner and her mystic dispersion level is probably 3 or 4 and now I did a mistake I attacked her and she got her 3 power bars and I'm like oh my god 3 power bars let me finish the fight can I finish the fight and she triggered her special will I survive this special will I survive this special 1 2 3 I survive it 13% and I really don't want to give them a kill so now I'm in the corner and I'm trying to do my best. One limbo and I will dead. So I put an outcome on her. Will I beat her? Will I be able to beat her? This is a very intense moment for me and I really tr <laughs> hoping that she would trigger her special and she triggered. And I'm dashed in now. I thought on, of intercepting but I decided not to do this. I decided to play a little bit safe at 3%. 0% done. This war, <coughs> we won this war, uh, it was very intense war, we took out 3 bosses, they took uh, 2 bosses, great war. If you like my video guys, click here to subscribe, like, share and see you soon on my next video.